Welcome to LMS training video on how to access LMS and how to set up your LMS profile. LMS is compatible with most modern web browsers including Chrome, Firefox and Safari. But kindly do not use Internet Explorer for accessing LMS as some of the LMS features like file upload are not supported by Internet Explorer. Now to access LMS NERST, first open your browser. Now in the address bar of your browser, type lms.nast.edu.pk. This will direct you to our LMS website. To access LMS portal, click this LMS portal block here, or look for a catchy link that you'll find at the top right of the website here. Clicking on either of them will open LMS portal. This is the LMS portal, but you need to log in to access your LMS homepage. To log into your LMS account, look for a login block here at the right of the LMS portal. This block will allow you to enter your username here in this field. Enter the username given to you by the LMS team. And enter your password here in the password field. When you click login, you'll be directed to your home page. Now there's another method for logging into your LMS account. Click on this login link at the top right of the LMS portal that says login. When you click on this, you'll be directed to the login page. Now fill in the username box with the username provided to you by the LMS team. Then click on this password field and fill it in with the password given to you by the LMS team. Then click login. When you log in for the first time, you'll be directed to the LMS settings page. Let me give you a brief introduction of some of its fields. But remember that the only fields with red font are mandatory. This field, email address. This field, city, town. Select a country. and display a picture for the profile are mandatory. You can leave the rest as it is. Moving on. First name and surname. The first two fields are quite self-explanatory. The user is known by the first and the last name in the course. You can edit any of the further fields. Email address. Enter a valid email address. Make sure this is an address you check frequently and that is correct as LMS has a lot of important email features that you wouldn't want to miss. Enter your email address here. Say the email address of my profile was lms.nast at yahoo.com. The system will send you an email to confirm your account and you won't be able to log in again until you confirm your account. Email display. You can choose who can see your email address the choices are to hide your email address from everyone. This will hide your email address from everyone. Allow everyone to see my email address. This will display your email address to everyone who logs into the site. And the third one is to allow only other course members to see my email address. This will allow only the people in your courses to see your email address. Email format. Here you can select whether the mail sent from LMS is formatted using HTML format or plain text format. Most modern email clients can receive and properly display HTML mail. But if you have a slow connection or you simply prefer your email plain and simple, then plain text option is probably a good choice. Email digest type. It has three possible options for receiving emails from forums. No digest. You will receive all new posts from subscribed forum. Complete. You will get emails containing all content of the new posts and subjects. You will receive an email only with topics and authors of new posts. Forum auto subscribe. This gives an option for forum subscription. It has two options. When you select yes, then whenever you post to a forum, you're subscribed to it. And when you select no, you're not automatically subscribed to the forums. 
Forum tracking. This basically gives you an option for forum tracking. If you select no, you cannot tr keep track of the posts you have seen. And if you select yes, then the posts you have seen will be highlighted. Moving on to another mandatory field, that is city and town. Enter your city here and select a country from the drop down menu, Pakistan, and enter this. These fields basically further identify you by your location. Scroll down. Preferred language. This sets the user's preferred language using a drop down menu. Next is the preferred theme. You can choose your LMS theme from here. It can be the default theme, NAST, or another one. Next is description. In this field, you can enter some text about yourself, be it information about your studies, hobbies, qualifications, or anything else that does not break the acceptable use policy of the site. Moving on, user picture. The user picture can be changed in this section. New picture. This field has a browse button to allow the users to find and then upload a new picture for their profile. When you click on this button, choose a file. Click browse if you want to upload a file from your computer. Say my picture was located on the desktop. Double click it. Then click upload this file. And the file will be uploaded here. Picture description. If you enter some text here, it will appear when the mouse rolls over the picture as a description. Now, in case you want to delete your picture, you just need to check this. And when you click save at the bottom of this page, your picture will be deleted and then you can add another picture. List of interests. In order to list your interests, use a comma between each interest. You can write sports, movies, or anything like that. This basically allows you to connect with others who list similar interests. Moving down. Rest of these fields are optional, but you can add uh, further information as you like, like web page, Skype ID, Yahoo ID, MSN ID, etc. You can even add your phone number, your mobile number, and your address here. Now, when you're done updating your profile, click this Update Profile button. Now you need to confirm the email address you entered in the email field of profile settings page, else you won't be able to log in again to LMS. For that, log in to that email. Open your inbox. Box, you'll find an email sent from the LMS team that says confirmation of email update at NAST LMS portal. Open that email. A link will be sent to you in that email by the LMS team. Click on that link and you'll be directed to the LMS portal. The page will open that says email address of user training profile was successfully updated. Click continue. When you click on this, you'll be directed to the login page. Now fill in the username box with the username provided to you by the LMS team. Then click on this password field and fill it in with the password given to you by the LMS team. Then click login. This will direct you to your homepage. 